Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jet TV. I am J11. This is Football Manager 2022, the youth coming chance with Bill and Ma. We managed to get Hugo Sandoval to sign a brand new contract to keep him at the club for another two seasons, which means his contract will expire by the time he's 33. And by that point, probably should be leaving us anyway. So that's a good sign for us in terms of that regards. Still, We've also had a few games since we last met, and we're now in February. Where are we at the table, and what have our performances been like since we last met you guys? So the first game we had was actually against Ferenz, and we took the lead inside 76 minutes of the game after Quintanilla finds Sandoval to get the opening goal of the game. Good stuff from this. It did take us a bit longer than I wanted to get the lead, but we can see the equaliser almost immediately. Martin finds Rozier, he finds Pio, Pio scores, and getting we would tune up at this ground last year and then lost 3-2. I was concerned we're going to give it away again. Then Gunian does his long throw, finds Quintanero, he finds Sandoval, and the two strikers combine once more. Playing for the this time, that was enough to win the game, and yes, Gunian is a weapon, and we're using that weapon because it is something that's in his arsenal. The long throw is a 14, and to have the bullet long throw at his disposal, we're utilising that to our advantage, and I'm not ashamed to use it. The next game we had was away from home against Aruka, and we took the lead inside 34 minutes after Quintanero scores the opening goal. Sandoval giving him the assist this time. So we do equalise in the 42nd minute of the game, unfortunately for us, and I was concerned that we considered this goal Enrique Pereira with the goals for giving the equaliser, but we take the lead in the 91st minute of the game. Pope finds Quintanero, Quintanero plays it across, he finds Correa, and I'm thinking, oh, we're going to win this game. No, we can a penalty and Alex Lopez scores it. 95 minutes in. 95th minute equaliser from the penalty spot has allowed Aruka to get a goal. Admittedly, we were probably a bit lucky to have not lost at this point already, but yeah, they probably deserve a share of the balls. I just feel annoyed that we gave away two points thanks to that penalty. We then went to Nacional in the league and for whatever reason, we seem to do really well against them because Luis Santos plays across and Quintanero has an open net to aim at. And then in the 37th minute of the game, we're going forward again. Alvarez plays a fourth forward to Cantanero, who scores his second of the game. Suddenly, we're looking like we're in firm control. Unfortunately for us, we do give away a goal here. And uh, Olivier with a finish. Clean sheet's dead, but we still win 2 1. We've done a double over Nasnero, and I couldn't have been happier. I just wish we didn't, you know, give up the clean sheet. I want that clean sheet more than anything else. I guess. We can't have it all our way. We then hosted Olivians in the league and we took the lead inside 70 minutes. Gudian plays at the cross, finds Quintanero who gets a tap in again. He's finding good tap ins at the moment and it's wonderful. We then have a long throw in, 24 minutes in, and Sandoval gets there first. 2 0, 24 minutes in. Unfortunately for us, we give away a goal almost immediately. Rodriguez has been an absolute nuisance on the left hand side, plays at the cross, and first shot on target for them, they score with it. What was very frustrating was the fact that they scored the equaliser just two minutes later with their second shot on target. Costa this time getting in, Costa scoring, very frustrating to give up the two goal lead. But we responded in kind in the first hit of the game when Sandoval finds Luis Santos, he goes to score, Keeper should do better, but we have the lead back again. We we'll keep on going, Jofino finds Ivarez, Ivarez keeps going and going, shoots and scores, 4-2 before half time. And then in the 46th minute of the game, almost a minute into the second half, we make it five. Jofino finds Aparicio, who scores again. Five different goal scorers, five goals. We win 5-2. I want the clean sheet, though. We didn't get the clean sheet. I'm very disappointed. Is that wrong of me to think that I should be disappointed? I think we should be disappointed with the fact we didn't get a clean sheet here, but whatever. We then went to Luciana La Rosa, and we took the lead inside 30 minutes. Akende finds Quintanero, who scores the opening goal. He's back on goal scoring form, isn't he? Really much a player that we can rely on. Luis Santos gets the ball back here. And then 59 minutes in, we make it to Luis Santos fans Continero. Easy goal, 2-0, good result. Especially now that that was the winning goal and we picked up all three points again. So a very strong performance here. Unfortunately, our next game was at home against Ojanens and we drew 0-0. Yeah, I wish I knew why we drew 0-0 here because I felt like we were the better team. Though so the average rating says otherwise. I feel like we should have won this game based on the fact we had their XG and stuff, but no, they deserve to share this balls apparently. And we gave up two points. 
And those two points have allowed put an ends of all teams to be top of the table by four points. We're only two points clear of Nacional. We have Academico de Fasal next. And oh boy, I don't want to lose to this team. Especially since we are one of five teams to have beaten them this year by two goals to one. If they beat us, then we don't have that buff anymore. And that's very frustrating. We do have a four point gap over friends, thankfully. But I'm not expecting that to last very long, even if they have played a game more than us. Especially. If you know, we lose today and I don't want to lose and then fall as low as full place and be out of the playoffs. Can't believe I'm thinking like that, but we're actually looking at the season now and thinking promotion has to be the aim now that I've already got enough points to survive. 21 games in, we're almost two thirds of the season through. And if we win today, we are looking strong. Estrella de Amadoya could do us a favor if they beat Promenenzo and that's the goal and hopefully that'll be the case. Though if we were to be beaten, I wouldn't be too shocked since, you know, it's Academico de Vizal, a team we have issues with in the past. Pereira has actually been out injured for the last couple of games, so he will start today in goal and I think he's now good enough for the division, which is very good and hopefully he can improve even more. Goodian starts as the right back, even though apparently he's been getting worse and worse. I need to replace him, hopefully one of the fullbacks that comes through will be a left back so I can actually play Jofino in instead. Avolia starts as the ball playing defender today, hopefully he can be really good again. Bruno Alaska starts as the centre defender. He can now play there properly and not be useless. Fidel starts at the left back. Apparently he's getting worse, but he's better as a right back. So we need to really get a good left back to this lazy intake, which apparently is what we're going to be getting. Luis Santos starts as a Mazzala on attack. He's really good there. Will Pope will be starting as a deep line playmaker today. And I've given him a new contract because he's been useful. Fernando Ivarez starts as a Mazzala and support. He's only got five finishing. It makes sense not to use him there otherwise. Marcio starts as the attacking midfielder in the pitch. And I think I need to worry about his potential not being any higher than it kind of is. But whatever. Hugo Sandoval has also been injured as of late. He can only play 25 minutes. But we're starting him as the deep line forward on support. Well, Rui Quintanero has now got 17 league goals. He starts as the advanced forward. He's been really good up there this season. Hopefully, we can keep this up. So let's get going, shall we? Okay, so Portimonts have already taken the lead inside 12 minutes, which is not a good sign for us as Alfonso Lete gets the opening goal. And Nassi have also leading, so we are going to be below them as things stand if we were to lose. We need to avoid defeat here. And that's a chance. And I'm concerned we're going to lose this game. I really am. Antonio has lost out. Okay. And oh dear. Okay, Sane. Kunha. Uh, we need to do more of this. I think we need to be very small with the ball today. And it's a matter of how we cope with this. And hope that we can actually do something with this. Sane on the ball. Oh my god. Conservis is in. That's the opening goal. I have a feeling we're going to concede. And it's not a good sign that we have conceded. And we're going to be down to fourth place as things stand. And it's just not good. Okay. And that's have also just taken a two goal lead. We didn't need this to happen. And everything that's going against us that we didn't want to happen. has Is it happening today? So we'll be down to four plays as we stand. Lasker, uh, right, Jofinho. What can we do with this situation? Finds Continuo, maybe, yes. Oh, Marcio's in. Marcio goes for goal. Oh, just wide. Okay, they got a free kick. If they score from it, it's kind of over, I think. And they always do. Could have been two. Okay, free kick to Continuo. going to try and take this. He's gone for goal. That's nowhere near good enough. So, half time. It's 1-0. We've not really been good enough in this game at all. And it's been disappointing. I could do a good do for myself. I guess second it's game over, I like to think. And uh, okay. That's over the bar. Play the ball for the Goodian. Has done. Santos now. Sandoval. Marcio. Sandoval. Oh, good ball. Quintanero. It's not really where he wants to be get, taking the ball. But he's can play the cross. Essentially, no. He's lost out. And we get the ball back anyway. Lasca. Chafinho. Alvarez. Pope. And now it's Lasco again. We need to do more. Pope. Santos, Sandoval, Awad to Gullien, can play the cross, has done, and he can look at Negre, and it's in, we have an equaliser, and that's lucky, I don't care if it's lucky or not, we do have our equaliser. Gotta be honest, didn't see that coming. Um, I'll take it though, Gullien again, two bites of the cherry is very, very fortunate, and you're not missing a chance like that in front of Cole. Oh no, Jofina's injured, okay, that's not good. Goodian's not going to go on that side. He's not good on that side at all. And men of trade's going to have to come in there. Oh, God. That's not good. Sane with a free kick. Goes for it. Over. Lewis has just been booked. I've got to ease him off the tackle, I think. Just doing a safe side. Men of trade's giving the ball to Sandoval. I could see that by rating below. But here's Leo. If we get ourselves 
in front. And this is good. We went behind against them before, if I recall correctly, last time out. So if we can do that again, that'd be impressive. And Sani gets there. Consalves goes for goal. Pereira denies. Okay. We can deny them, it looks like. Aguilar plays in the middle. And Kunha denied by the goalkeeper. Papala finds Kunha. I just realized Lask has been pretty poor in this game. Consalves is in. Okay. Keeper. Why didn't you hold on to this? Hello? Cause on the ball, plays it across, and Kuna's not going to get there. Okay. He does, but it's over here. Papala. That's too much time and space for Papala. Plays in the middle of the Sane. Keep it in the eyes. Conservers. Aguila. We need more. We need to do better. Cause. Goodman. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. <laughs> We've been very lucky to be level, and I'm going to be honest with you. So, the fact that they had 17 shots to our five, if we can FM them, it'd be wonderful. Oh my god, Continero. We could FM them here. Alvarez, it's Luis Santos. Luis Santos! Oh, Ricardo Silva denies. Free kick, Pereira finds Leo, and we can play out wide. Come on, you've got the someone there. There you go, Manitrae's there. Good. Finds Sandoval. Good pass to Marcio. Can play the ball forward if Continero makes the run. He didn't, but okay, Marcio. Okay, get the ball back. Okay, please, please get the ball back. Yes, he does. Okay, well done. Alvarez, Marcio, Sandoval, Luis Santos, good for goal, blocked. That might be the end of the highlight, because you tend to be a shot blocked in the extended highlights, but okay. Kunha, come on, get the ball, don't let them shoot, don't let them get a goal. Um, Papala on the ball, great, this is not good. And, do, 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 okay, okay. Um, Gordman, Papala, play in the middle, has done, Sunny over the bar. Look at those places, oh my god. Kuna, the not but a keeper. Okay, free kick. Aparicio plays it. It's not the best in the world. And oh god, Sonny's gonna get there. Uh, oh my god, put him into the equalizer. Let's try to have equalized. This is really good if we can keep this going. Um Sane. We're not gonna lose that much ground, it seems like at the moment. Because Aguilar. Maduya, okay, come on, get the ball back, please, 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 please. I'm desperate to keep hold of this equalizer. Be level still. Um, oh god, they're gonna go with a goal soon. No, they haven't got it. Okay, cool. That loss. Agula. Oh my god, Sonny's in. He's hit the post! I'm so lucky! Okay. This might be a stupid move. I've gone for the move because I thought, you know what, why not? As Agula. Oh my god, Braz. Oh my god, they've gone in so easily. How do they get in so easily? How do they get in so easily? And that's now falling up, by the way. But how do they get in so easily? They got six minutes at a time. If they get a third, it's over. If we get an equalizer, they, we've, it's been worth every moment of madness we've gone for here. That's still, oh my god, that's true. I've actually taken the lead against the Bournemouth. This is horrible now. We've literally thrown away a chance. Well, that's frustrating, knowing that we couldn't beat this team. They did deserve it, though. Look at their she Look at the match. They hung goal. The fact we were that poor tells me that we shouldn't in, have even been able to be getting the game so late on, but whatever. We're down to full first thing stand because we couldn't win. 12 games to go, though. We're still only four points behind Pormenens, who actually did lose. So that's actually more frustrating with the fact they did lose and we couldn't take advantage of it. Which means that Nasser and Academico are actually closer than they are, and we are now. Out of the two to three weeks due to the pool ligaments, that's not great. And Lasker's now natural in the centre-back position. It makes sense to play him in the centre-back because he's six foot six. And after six games unbeaten, we lose again. So we always seem to do this. Six games unbeaten, we always seem to lose after six games. So hopefully... We've only got one more defeat this year if we can do this again, but it is what it is. Either way, we're going to end this here. I hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. I hope you guys like and share this video. And that you subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a lot. But either way, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.